Shabbat Shalom. In this week's parasha, Parashat Hazinu, Moses finally teaches the Jewish people his shira, his song. The song is unique in that it paints a beautiful view of Jewish history, as well as reminding the Jewish people of their promise, that if they will keep the Torah, the mitzvot, they will get the blessings. But if they turn away, the curses and the exile will follow. The structure of the song is in two towers, like two witnesses. And it's based on the opening verse of our parasha. Hazinu ha-shamayim v'dabera. Listen to the, uh, listen, O heavens, I will speak. And let the earth give ear. They, these are our two witnesses. They will stand as pep in perpetuity to the promise made by the Jewish people to God. And in the text, we read something quite fascinating. The verse reads, I shall accumulate evils against them. My arrows I will cure, shall use up against them. What does this mean? According to the, uh, the commentator Rashi, it means that the arrows of our enemies will end, but they, the Jewish people, will still remain in place. So no matter what the tragedies will befall us, we will endure and we will survive. Mordechai Kamenetsky brings a beautiful statement, or powerful statement, from the great science fiction writer Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov asked the following famous question. What would happen if an irresistible force met an immovable object? What would happen? Irresistible force, immovable object. And he states the following physics principle. In a universe where one of the above conditions exists, by definition, the other cannot exist. I repeat, in the universe where one of the above conditions exists, by definition, the other cannot exist. The Torah is thus giving us a most incredible and powerful lesson about what it means to be Jewish. That no matter what happens, Hatsur tamim polo ki hold rachav mishpat says the, uh, says Moses. Hatsur, the rock, God is a uh, God in everything that He does is truthful and just, and we are the Am Hashem. We are the nation of God. We are connected to this rock, this irresistible force, this immovable object, and that's no matter what happens to us. We will endure and we will survive. And that is the great blessing that we hear from, uh, from our parasha of Parashat Hazinu. That no matter what, we will be here. And we, the Jewish people, become the greatest proof of God in this world. It is told that, that the French philosopher Voltaire was asked by the king of France, Prove to me that God exists. And he answered with two words, the Jews. Because no nation has had to endure what we've had to endure and has survived, survived, and thrived. So as we start this new year, as we leave Yom Kippur and head towards the wonderful celebration that is Sukkot, and we move from our houses to that flimsy sukkah, realize that we are connected to Hatsur, to the Tzur, to, uh, to the, rock, uh, the rock God himself. And as such, we will endure. And that is the great blessing. So read through the song of, uh, of Moshe, the song of Hazinu, for it encapsulates all of who we are. And it stands as a, as a witness to that the Jewish people will survive. Which is, of course, yours and my heritage. Shabbat Shalom.